Shalom. First of all, we'll give all praises and glory down to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shalom, 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 Yahweh
Right, because you got all the nations that I mentioned that's stationed down there because they monitoring each one another activities, you know, especially when it comes to military activities, you know. It says a sizable group of Chinese military vessels and aircraft have been detected around Taiwan and the heightening tensions in the region. The self governor Island Defense Ministry claimed on Sunday, according to the minute. Ministry, eight Chinese uh, Navy vessels and 23 aircraft were detached in China's, I mean Taiwan's vicinity. Ten planes, uh, it stated, have flown over the east part of the mainland line, the Taiwan Strait, which practice serves as an unofficial barrier between mainland China and the island. The Taiwanese military added that the local combat area patrol has been given relevant, relevant instructions and that Beijing activities are being closely monitored. It says the apparent Chinese deployment comes days after the U.S. sent two warships into the Taiwan Strait and what the Navy called it's a routine transit mission to demonstrate the United States commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. <clears throat> and it says Beijing responded by putting its military on high alert and signaling its readiness to stop any provocation in a timely manner. Early China also congregated the U.S. bringing it the destroyer of peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. Tensions in the region have been running high since the controversial visit by the U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi in Taipei in early August, which sent relations between Washington and Beijing into a tailspin and triggering a flurry of China military activities in the area. And at the time, China Defense Ministry said it has conducted drills simulating a blockage of the sea and well as the impetuous assaults and striking on the grounds, uh, striking at ground targets. It says Beijing considers the self-governing island of its own territory and view. It views visits by the high-ranking U.S. official as attacks on its sovereignty and a violation on the One China Principle. The Taiwan Strait, which separates the self-governing island from the mainland China, and it says have been a, a source of military tension since 1949. When Chinese nationalists fled to the island after losing the civil war to the communist, I mean communists. I think it was another news article as well too, and I believe this regards to the uh, Russia-Ukraine situation. I believe it was another article from. Uh, <clears throat> You know, this is an actual update on, you know, when it comes to uh, wars and rumors of wars between the nations. Uh, if I can find it. Oh, here it goes right here. Because, you know, you got a uh, war going on still continuing, and it's intensifying with the Russian Ukraine situation as well, too, along with the, uh, the South China Sea dispute thing. And a potential of uh, China might potentially invade Taiwan and then might do some type of uh, military necessary action against the United States and allies and their allies with uh, Taiwan. You know, as that tension is starting to build up even more and more. And this uh, news article right here, this is from Pentagon uh, from RT.com, was published on August the 27th, which was uh, yesterday. August 27, 2022, uh, from Home World News, alternative news around the world. And a highlight of this news article that reads from RT.com, Pentagon signs air defense system deals with Ukraine. It says U.S. arm maker, great time, great telling, 
if I pronounce that right, is to produce a NS, I mean NASAMS system by August 2024. It says the Pentagon has signed a $182 million deal with the U.S. arms manufacturer to produce the NASAMS, a national advanced service to air missile systems for the military of uh, Ukraine. Right, because it's already enough. The United States gave in a total of uh, close to like 30 or 40 billion dollars in military aid which that's a lot of money to aid the Ukrainian soldiers over there in the military with the uh, current ongoing intensifying tension between uh, Russia and Ukraine you know? uh, but continuing on with the, the work on short and mid-range air defense uh, weaponry will be conducted as a Ray Theon's facility in Tobol, Massachusetts, with the estimated completion date of August the 23rd, 2024. The U.S. Department of Defense said in a statement on Friday, early this week, the U.S. President Joe Biden announced yet another military aid package um, for Ukraine amending the conflict with Russia. It says uh, a 2.8 uh, 2.89 billion dollars is the, it is the largest to date and will include a six NAS AMS system. It says the military assistance will be funded as part of the so-called Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative, the USA. AI meaning the hardware will be specified, produced for Kaviv and not taken from US stocks. It says in a magazine early this month, Air Force magazine described the, the NASAMS as a vital piece of technology could help the UN, I mean the Ukraine forces to shoot down Russia cruise missiles with has so far been hitting targets in the country, nearly um, impunitated. Moscow has been long critical of weapon supplies to Kyiv by Washington and its allies, saying that they only prolong the conflict, increasing the risk of a direct confrontation between NATO and Russia. Right, because we're seeing that increase as well, too. I think not too long ago, I think about a couple of weeks ago, you had uh, uh, Russia, President Vladimir Putin in that region. You have certain allies of NATO. I forgot what region it was. He uh, sent, um, just in case his uh, troops come under attack or his allies as well, too, because Belarus. Uh, in Russia, you know, they're allies with one another, you know. And, you know, uh, Vladimir Putin order uh, an extra military assistance in that region over there where you have uh, allies of NATO over there as well, too, to cover with military assistance over there in that area, you know, just in case. Because I believe uh, a couple of months ago, uh, President Vladimir Putin, he wasn't going to, he, he didn't send a direct message. But he sent a message as far as like if you know if his uh if his army his his military of Russia comes under attack you know uh, he'd do it all it takes to protect you know his army and his allies as well too Moscow and Russia and Belarus you know against uh, NATO forces and his allies you know so yeah this uh. Russia Ukraine situation is increasing as this uh, news came out yesterday saying uh, Pentagon signs air defense system. You know, and this air defense system, uh, which is going to be developed and is going to be, be ready by August 2024. And this is this uh, military defense system to be able to help the security of 
military protection of uh, out, you know United States of ally over Ukraine and this can be used to like sh sh you know shut down or shoot down uh, Russian military defense of hypersonic missiles ICBM missiles or nuclear range missiles uh, uh, a long range, a short range, or the mid range missiles, and they can be automatically shut down, you know, and that helps uh, Ukraine a little bit more as the United States and the uh, allies of Ukraine uh, fund more and more and more money to help Ukraine out, the Ukraine soldiers, you know with the ongoing uh, increasing and intensifying conflict between the Russia and Ukraine with the uh, which uh, Russia call it a military operation how the way it looks of it it sounds like more than a uh, Russian military operation with the invasion of uh, Ukraine you know as they uh, do military operations throughout the whole region of uh, Ukraine Especially like places like Donbass, uh, Kyiv, and other parts of uh, Russia as well too. You know, I mean, as other parts of uh, Ukraine as well too, because the war is uh, intensifying. The more military aid and assistance that the United States and its allies, that's allies with Ukraine, that's intensified the uh, uh, tensions between Russia and Ukraine even more and more and more. You know, so these uh, wars and rumors of wars are definitely heating up, and that Revelation 11 and 14 is definitely increasingly now more than ever. Second world was passed, behold, the third world coming quickly, and we are definitely living in those stages of uh, WW3, which is imminent. And you're seeing signs of that, you know, with these nations rising up against nations, with the uh, Palestine is. You know, the Palestine, you know, the Israeli versus Palestine, that's increasing. That's an ongoing uh, proxy war, an ongoing commotions of wars between those two different nations, you know, with the South China Sea. That's increasing on an everyday basis. You got military uh, of Beijing, of uh, China, Japan, United States, and Taiwan as well, too you know, all monitoring one another, their military activities, you know, as tensions start to increase now more than ever in that region uh, against between the islands separated between one another, the mainland South China Sea Island and the um, um, and over there the Taiwan Island as well too as the tensions starting to increase between Beijing and Washington, the United States, and China as well too, you know, over Taiwan, you know. You know, I'm gonna bring out a scripture. It's uh, let's see, wars, wars, wars. This is the book of uh, Matthews 24 and 6. And it says that ye should hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right, because the end is not yet, because we're seeing all these uh, prophecies uh, increase, especially, you know, like I always mentioned before. Uh, you know, the nations rising up against nations and kingdom against kingdoms as well, too, you know. And uh, wars and rumors of wars, commotions of wars, on, uh, continuing on and off proxy wars, and commotions of wars between the nations. Luke 21 to 25, uh, dis discressive nations. And I'm going to bring that out as well, too, after I get to bring this scripture out to the next verse, Matthew 24 and 7. For nations shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdoms. There shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, because you're seeing the increase, the nations rising up against nations, and kingdom against different kingdoms is increasing as well, too. So, 
we're gonna bring out Luke 21 and then and Luke 21 and 25 as well too. And this is the book of uh, Luke chapter 21 verse 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by end by. Right, because the end is not yet. You know, because uh, more increase of uh, prophecies starting to increase on an everyday basis because you see so many different things that's that's happening in the world today and it can be in many different categories due to the weather due to the upwards and the people of the world and many other different uh, categories as i stated you know and this uh category right here in particular you know of, uh what comes to war and military and these are uh signs of uh, things that are increasing you know between the nations and different kingdoms uh, increasing with these uh, wars and rumors of wars because now you're starting to hear these uh, rumors of wars on an everyday basis it's starting to increase now more than ever you know and this is the book of Luke chapter 21 Verse 25 and Luke 21 and 25 and there shall and there shall be signs in the sun and the moon which we see as we look up in the sky the red moon the blood moons a chariot sightings you name it you know and upon the earth discursive nations right discursive nations you know, the nations, what's his second address, nine and three. There should be upwards in the people of the world. Second address, 15 and verse 16, reference. Uh, the sedition among men type spirit invading one another. They should not regard their kings nor their princes. You're starting to see that as well, too. That's why you're starting to see an uh, increase of discursive nations, you know, between one another. Or if it's from an economic standpoint or a political standpoint, or many different issues, uh, they doesn't agree with the ones that's in, that's in charge, the leaders of their uh, country signing these uh, unrighteous decree type uh, laws in their respectable cities and countries. It's all uh, uh, well too, you know. And continuing on, and upon the earth, the stress of nations were perplexity, and the sea and the Bravery war. Yep, because the increase, yep, the increase of perplexity of the stress, the stress of nations. You're gonna see that increase now more than ever in these latter days. You know. Uh, so with that, I hope this was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy. Y'all be have a y'all shot. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to to y'all have a shot. Y'all have a shot, a shot, a Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akin, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akin, that be like us in the speckled bird, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akin, uh, that be like us in the speckled bird, Salaki, as I mentioned again, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say uh, Shalom and a ball to ball.